Brunair Airlines is one of the largest airline companies in the world. They operate flights to all major tourist destinations and have a large IT environment to support their business. Some of the components of this complex IT environment include switches and routers and also a large array of virtual data centers to cost effectively run their applications and also reduce their hardware footprint. Brunair Airlines have been using CA Spectrum and CA Unified Infrastructure Management, formerly known as CA Numsoft Monitor, to monitor and manage relationships between their IT assets and associated business services. They have also integrated CA Spectrum with CA UIM to expand the CA Spectrum model of the infrastructure with information and alarms from CA UIM. Brunair Airlines is now planning to upgrade to the new release of CA Spectrum, which would allow them to use the powerful root cause analysis features of CA Spectrum to monitor and troubleshoot problems in their virtual data center. This would help their network administrators tremendously. Currently, virtual data centers are connected by a networking layer of routers and switches. When one of these components goes down, the administrators get alarms from a host of devices and systems. This makes it very difficult to examine the root cause of the problem and troubleshoot it. After upgrading to CA Spectrum 9.4.1, they can depend on the tool to suppress alarms from various affected components and highlight the root cause of the failure, spanning across the virtual and physical environment, as well as the network and data center layer. This will help administrators troubleshoot issues rapidly and get the data centers up and running with minimum impact to the business. Let's now view a demonstration of how we can integrate CA Spectrum and CA UIM to monitor virtual data centers. To monitor a virtual data center, we first have to integrate CA Spectrum and CA UIM. To enable the integration, open the one-click administration page and click the administration tab. Then, click NIMSOFT configuration. The NIMSOFT configuration window is displayed. Enter the host name and port number for the NIMSOFT server and UMP server. Select the Spectral server to host the models that CA Spectrum receives from the CAUIM probes. To manage only your virtual infrastructure using CA Spectrum, select VMware Management. Currently, CA Spectrum monitors virtual environments by using CA Virtual Assurance for Infrastructure Managers. When you start monitoring your virtual environment by using CA UIM, it deletes all the models and data you have gathered using CA Virtual Assurance for Infrastructure Managers. CA Spectrum then models your infrastructure based on the data it gets from CA UIM. To finalize the integration, click Save. Open the CA Spectrum one-click console to see the virtual servers managed by CA UIM. We can see the landscape we chose while integrating CA Spectrum and CA UIM. Let's expand the landscape and then expand the NIMSOFT Manager node to find the virtualization and VMware nodes. We have selected NIMSOFT Manager. Let's click the Information tab and expand configuration to learn about various configuration options. You can expand the NIMSOFT configuration option to view the data you entered while integrating CA UIM and CA Spectrum. Expand NIMSOFT Virtualization Sync configuration to view the synchronization schedule. Additions deletions and modifications of VMware entities in CA UIM are reflected in CA Spectrum after the virtualization sync. Expand VMware configuration and then expand VMware data center modeling. The VMware data center modeling functionality helps in moving data centers from an existing landscape to a new landscape where relevant upstream devices are discovered. Select the relevant data center you want to migrate and click Move. Select the landscape where you want to move the data center and click OK. Click Yes to confirm the movement of the data center. 
observe the data center is moved to the selected landscape successfully. Note that, migrating a data center is not possible if a data center migration is already in progress or if virtualization sync is in progress. Let's now view various metrics associated with your virtual data center. You can click the cluster, select the information tab, and expand this section to see the VMware metric information for the cluster. Similarly you can view the metrics for a NewSoft resource pool, an ESX server, and a virtual machine. Let's now click Universe and then click the Topology tab. We can see an upstream switch which is connected to two ESX servers. Let's click one server to see the virtual machines associated with it. The multiple NIC cards of the ESX servers are displayed as repeater segments. Let's now go back to the topology view. Let's view detailed information about this ESX server by using the launch in context functionality. Right click the server and click launch NIMSoft UMP view. You are now in the CAUI portlet and you can drill down to view granular details associated with the server. This is possible for all the entities that have an IP address namely the ESX servers, the VMware servers or data centers. Let's now go back to the topology view. CAUIM propagates alarms to CA spectrum by using SNMP traps. Did you notice that the ESX server has an alarm associated with it? Let's select the server. Let's click the alarms tab. We can see that there are two alarms associated with this server. Let's click the information button to view the details associated with this alarm. We can now see the various details associated with this alarm. Let's now go through a scenario where the upstream switch has an issue and this has led to issues with the two ESX servers and repeaters. Did you notice that alarms from the repeaters and ESX servers have been suppressed? CA Spectrum has identified the root cause as the upstream switch. Let's click the ESX server to view the VM servers associated with it. Did you notice that the NIC cards and virtual machines are also unreachable? Let's click the root cause tab to view the reason for this problem. Let's click the information button to get more details about the alarm. You can see that CA Spectrum has isolated the root cause to be the upstream switch. Let's click the impact tab to view the other devices that have been impacted by the issue. Let's click Symptoms to view the symptoms that led to this alarm. We can see that this alarm was raised because the switch stopped responding to polls and its status was unreachable. To view other devices impacted by the issue with this router, click the Management Lost Impact tab. Let's imagine a scenario without CA Spectrum. The administrator would have received alarms from 23 devices and would have spent a lot of time trying to find the root cause of this issue. As a result of integrating CA Spectrum and CAUIM, we were able to identify the root cause and suppress alarms from all the other devices. Now observe that the upstream switch is green which indicates that it is repaired. This subsequently clears all the associated alarms on the ESX servers and virtual machines. Let's examine another scenario where the upstream switch is fine but the ESX server and repeater segments are down. In a traditional scenario, you would get an alarm from each virtual machine associated with the ESX server. CA Spectrum has managed to identify the root cause of the problem and suppress the alarms from the impacted virtual machines. Let's click one of the virtual machines to view the root cause of the problem. We can see that CA Spectrum has identified the root cause of the issue. Let's click Universe and examine the alarm on the ESX server. Let's select the ESX server and click the information button on the alarms tab. You can now see all the information associated with the alarm. Let's close the alarm details window. 
we can use the information from the alarm to fix the issue. You can now see that the alarms have been cleared from the ESX server and the repeater segments. In CA Spectrum 9.4.1, you can now search for various VMware entities using locator search. You can search for clusters, data centers, resource pools, ESX hosts, and virtual machines. Finally, in case you want to disable virtualization management, you can navigate to the one-click administration page and click the NIMSOFT configuration link. Clear the VMware Management checkbox and click the Save button to stop using CA Spectrum for monitoring your virtual data center. I am sure this demonstration made you realize the tremendous benefits of upgrading to CA Spectrum 9.4.1 and integrating it with CAUIM to manage virtual data centers. To learn more about CA Spectrum or CAUIM, please visit the CA Education website.